Hey y'all, as you might uh, know, I'm doing a series, I guess you would say, on recipes that our local um, news station is doing for the holidays and giving um, like traditional recipes or recipes that uh, they just like to have during the holiday time. And so a girl, named uh, Kristen Hampton did tomato soup, homemade tomato soup. And it sounds so good that I decided that that would be the next recipe that I tried. It's simple, but it uses really good ingredients. So let's get started. So you turn your pot on high to get it to warm and put a couple tablespoons of olive oil in your pot. And what you're wanting to do is um, saute onions and celery and garlic. So while that is heating up and sauteing a little bit, I'll go ahead and be cutting up the celery. It, you want to cut it small enough that it will cook through and be soft because at the end, we're going to blend it so there won't be any chunks, but you know, it's got to be small enough that that uh, it's tender enough to blend. So I am using four celery stalks. And the recipe that was given was the ingredients, but not exactly how she did it. Of course, she did show some, so anyway, we'll, um, we'll do fine. So I'm going to go ahead and put the celery in. And as usual, I dropped one. So we're going to let this for just a minute and I would like to know what are some of the traditional recipes that y'all use and is there anything that's uh, unusual that you do for um, a tradition We don't really do anything that's unusual. We just have the turkey and dress and gravy, all that, just like I think most people do. So I've let this saute for just a minute or two, and I'm going to put some garlic fresh garlic in there. I cut this up yesterday for something and then so I didn't need it. So that is going to go in and there is nothing that smells so good as onion and garlic when it's sauteing together. So I turned the stove back up just a little bit and I'm gonna let that saute for just a moment. And you wanna just um, add your ingredients. Here there's really no particular order once you get your vegetable sauteed. I'm going to add a, a nice big pinch of pepper. 
and a nice big pinch of salt. I'll give that a stir. And believe it or not, we're going to put fennel in this. And I'm going to put a tablespoon. I probably should have took the top off and done it. Okay, that looks like a tablespoon. And stir it up. Now you want to add your tomatoes. And for a really good soup, you want a really good tomato. And so we're going to add two of the big cans of the San Marzano tomatoes to this. And give that a stir. And then she added about three cups of water. I'm going to pour water in each of the cans. Try to get that last little bit of goodness out of there. And then this is the rest of the three cups. And she used um, better than bouillon vegetable flavor, and I could not find it. But I do have some of this tomato, nor tomato bouillon with chicken flavor. Then I'm going to add a little bit of that to it. I think it'll be pretty good. Looks like a nice heaping tablespoon. Also, you could add scallions to this. I don't have any. But scallions are kind of like a mixture between the onion and garlic, and we have both of those in there, so I think it's going to be fine. So this is it as far as the ingredients go. I'm going to let this simmer at a low simmer for probably a couple hours, just real low, covered. And then when I come back, I'm if I feel like it's ready, which I'm sure it will be by then, I'm going to blend it up in the blender, which uh, ordered one today uh, through um, Walmart grocery pickup, and I'm excited to get it because sometimes there are recipes that I need a blender for and I don't have one, so now I'll have one. So I will see y'all back in just a little bit and we'll start blending our soup. Okay y'all, the soup has finished simmering for a couple hours and now I'm going to put it in the blender and just blend it all up. But let me show you what it looks like before I do that. And you can see chunks of onion and some celery. The aroma is wonderful. It's got a really nice aroma. So this uh, cord to this blender only goes 
so far and that's about as far as it goes. So I'm going to um, I think I'm going to make a mess. I'm going to be filling it up with this soup and then blending it and when I get all that done I'll come back and show you what it looks like. So here is the soup and it looks just like uh, Campbell's or something like that once that it's been blended up. I'm gonna use my circus cup and give it a taste. I'm not gonna put a whole lot in there because I'm not real hungry right now, but as you can see, the consistency I feel like is perfect and it smells really good. Gave a nice aroma to the house. And now I am curious as to how it tastes. Mm. That's good. It needs salt and pepper. Otherwise it's perfect. I can see eating this with some crackers crumbled, a few crackers crumbled in it. It's very, very good. And the key uh, is to use those good tomatoes, I feel like. But if you like tomato soup, give this a try. It really is a good recipe. Good job, Kristen. So, uh, that is it for the tomato soup recipe. I hope you enjoyed it and take care and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.